Now to give you an idea of how much standby power general stuff uses, I've made a list here of the stuff around here that consumes standby power when the device is off and not actually doing anything. The central heater, it's, it's not turning on any heat and it's still consuming 5 watts. That means if the power switch to it is on, I actually have an on off switch, I can turn it off in the summer. Um, if it's on all year long, it would cost me about $5 a year to leave it on, which is not insignificant because if you add up, you know, like 50 of these devices, it adds up. Another one is I had a big honking power strip, TV power strip, that is like a premium kind. Apparently it uses a lot of standby power because it has some isolation filter and things like that in there. My rice cooker, even though if it's not cooking rice, it actually consumes 2 watts so you can actually unplug that when you're not uh, cooking any rice and save some. Uh, there's an electronic timer, one of those timers that when you plug something in it would cycle through uh, the time of the day and turn on and off a device according to the time of the day. Um, that's actually half a watt, a mechanical one's actually 2 watts so it's not as efficient because it's actually running like a tiny little motor to spin the gears in there. I got another power strip that's not as crazy. It uses half a watt. Kitchen lights now. This is actually um, not standby power, just for comparison. It has a lot of fluorescent lights in there, like about six uh, long tubes, uh, 194 watts there, so that's a lot. And a stove, um, it's not very sophisticated, I imagine. That's why it's consuming 11 watts of standby power. That's quite a lot, but it's not like I'm gonna unplug the stove every time because it's behind the stove. Alarm clock right here, which I just plugged in, it's about one and a half watts of standby power. Even though it's not doing any alarming, it's not playing music, it's just displaying the time uh, on the front. But no one uses these anymore because people use cell phones, including myself. So this is just my bathroom music player. I have a video up on that, by the way. I'll put it, put a link over here. When you walk into the restroom, music actually plays. A cordless phone actually is sitting there all the time trying to charge the cordless phone battery. Turns out I used to have one and it was 7 watts, which is quite a bit just for uh, a phone thing that's sitting there. And then a DSL modem doesn't take too much wattage. I'm glad because uh, that's always on. When you have a long list of stuff with the standby power right next to it, you can make a conscious decision on which to turn off and which to leave on. For example, for me, I don't need the cordless phone, I kill that. Alarm clock, I kill that. The stove, there's no way I'm gonna go plug and unplug that, so I'm gonna leave that on. I mean, if you watch TV, you want to be able to push the button, turn it on and off, so I'm gonna leave that on. DVD player, I probably won't use a DVD player, maybe only once a month or something, so I would unplug those. You just do your internal electricity vampire power usage and you just go and unplug everything that you think is consuming too much power or um, it's not worth the convenience to you so you would turn it off or unplug it. It's interesting to note that in Taiwan they actually have on-off switches next to all the outlets which is a great idea because if you have something that consumes standby power you don't have to actually physically pull the plug and plug it back in. That's kind of uh, a lot more work than flipping a switch. So having those are great, but too bad they don't come standard in the United States. Saving electricity is great because it actually saves you money. It's another manifestation of actually increasing your net worth because you're plugging up all those things that burns up your cash, which reduces your burn rate. I'll leave yet another video about this on increasing net worth over here. Don't forget to give me a like, Comment down below and let me know what you think of this strategy of reducing vampire power usage. And don't forget to subscribe over here. Thanks for watching.